Hi friends. So today we are going to start right back at the beginning since it's been like six weeks since we've saw each other. That's okay. We're going to just get warmed back up and feeling good about it. So we are going to start in your learning together book. So if you are a cello, it will be green. If you are a bass, it will be brown. If you are a violin, it will be blue. And if you are a viola, it will be purple. So same book. So we all know we're on the same book. This is page seven. So open up your book, turn to page seven, twinkle, twinkle, little star. But this time we're going to do something a little different. I want you to practice reading your open strings. So if you look at the bottom of page seven, it says baseline. So we are going to start right there and we're going to read the baseline. I want to make sure that you understand where to find your notes. So I'm just going to go through really quick. You see they're all half notes. Everything is a half note and we're just going to name off these notes. So I want you to put your finger on the page and point to each note as I go along. It goes like this. Glad you could play. D. D. G. D. A. D. A. D. D. A. D. A. Here's the next line, measure seven. D. Okay, so those are our open strings. We need to be used to finding our open strings on our instrument. Now, it looks different for every instrument. If you're playing a violin, you use a treble clef. If you're playing a viola, you use alto clef. And if you're playing a cello or a bass, you're using bass clef. So everyone's part looks different, but they should sound the same. So I am going to do this again, and this time I'm going to play the bass line with you so you can hear how they sound, okay? And... Again, we have our wonderful uh, Fortissimo helpers here helping us with this. So you can still hear the melody while you hear the bass line. All right, here we go. D. Okay, so that's the bass line. And do you want to add anything like this? Okay, so we're not going to add the harmony right now because I don't want to confuse you. But if you are working on the harmony, feel free to turn to the back of the book, page 29. You can try to play the harmony along with this recording so that you get some practice. We're going to play this one more time. We're going to take the repeat. I won't say anything this time. So you have to read these notes on your own. Make sure that you, your notes are making the same sound mine are, so you know you're on the right string. So two times.
my friends. I hope that went well for you. I just want to make a point really quick. Make sure you see the difference on measure one. The first measure, we have a mezzo forte. So that means we are playing kind of like our talking voice. That's about the volume we should be at. And at measure seven, it says piano. So you probably remember from music class that piano means soft. So did you notice that it got softer there? And it came back in measure nine, just two measures later, it went back to mezzo forte, which is again, our talking voice. One other thing I wanted to point out, could you tell when this second time the song was played, could you tell at the repeat? I did something, remember? I played the last notes, and then I went. That's called a cue. I don't know if you remember that, but that's cueing. Practice your cueing as we do this. Make sure you're practicing your cueing. So when you repeat the song, make sure you're cueing. It looks a little different. Um, can you show us, Miss Charity, what it looks like on a viola? Here's our cue. There you go. And she even lifts her instrument with her so practice make sure you get your cues in there all right great job i can't wait to hear these bye